Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Kathy Bryant, who is here on behalf of the History Center. Well, Kathy, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for the opportunity to share the History Center with our community. I appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. You know, we were over at the library when they first opened back up, and uh, we did notice that the History Center is right next door to the library. So we're like, you know what? We should talk to them about what happens at the History Center, what you guys feature, and, you know, just how it all works. So thanks for joining us. Well, it's my pleasure. Um, it's it's a little known secret that we're trying to get out and make more apparent in the community. Um, we did organize and start in 1976 um, as the Historical Society, and that was formed because Ross Cortese and the Rossmore Corporation were starting to wind down on construction in the community. They were working on the 110s, which was the last area that was developed, mm -hmm. and they wanted to place uh, information and um, documents and pictures somewhere. So the Historical Society was formed and they took that in and that's how it started. Mm -hmm. They were in several little places like many like the library and a lot of other things were bounced to different rooms because there wasn't a lot available then. And eventually it was recognized because of what, how much we were getting, how much information was being given to us that we needed to um, build our own building. 2015 is when we remodeled, oh, okay. but uh, it's been here. And actually this building is part of two buildings that are attached. They built the portico over the front so that it looks like one building, but we are separate buildings. Um, GRF donated the land, uh, donations from then Historical Society members put the money together to build the building, and then it was donated to um, the uh, to Golden Rain Foundation. So the building belongs to the community. Inside, we are a separate organization. Okay, all right. Well. You know, it, it sounds great. I'm glad you were able to get your own center because you do have a lot of things uh, in there that really uh, sort of, you know, depicts what the village was, what it is now, and, you know, the transition that was made over those many, many years. Uh, tell me some of the things that you guys highlight. Well, what we do is highlight in, in maintaining information is done separate two different ways. One is... Um, through physical archives in the back building, which are kept at 70 degrees and between 30 and 50% humidity to save them from deteriorating. Okay. Um, and then we have digital archives. And as you might guess, that is the coming thing. Mm -hmm. This was brought very much for, brought forward recently when the malware attacked the community. We are on a separate network so there was a lot of information that was saved and a lot of information we found out was lost and because it, it no one had thought to send those files to us to to save but that is our real goal is to save uh items from not just laguna woods but before like right. what happened before us and to network with Orange County, other Orange County um, groups. We are actually the only purpose built archive in the county. And so we, we try to make everything available for not only our residents to do research, but also for historians that can contact us. So we reach out to other organizations as well. And, and we're always looking for volunteers. We need people. This community, I know from my years here, because I was on the United Board and on the Foundation Board and a few other things, mm -hmm. volunteers run this community. We don't govern it, but we really run it. Uh -huh. And uh, it's important. Volunteers have always been very important. And we need some people that maybe have some computer skills that could come and put in information, um, help us. Maybe we can extend some hours. But right now, we work with a very small volunteer crew. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, that is true. There are a lot of volunteers here and I've, I've met so many great people and, you know, it's nice to stay active. So, you know, when, when you're talking about having a volunteer come, I mean, a lot of people here have computer 
skills and they love to talk to people. And so I would imagine uh, you should be able to get some great folks in there. Now, let me ask you something. Who actually visits the, the History Center? <laughs> That's a good question. We get people that just, well, I had a gentleman walk in yesterday and said, what do you do here? <laughs> At, well, it starts there. A lot of folks find out of us online um, because we have a great website. Also, they can reach us through the, the Laguna Woods website, the village website. Um, and a lot of folks are just coming to the library and they see the lights on and they want to know. Some come specifically because they've read about us and they maybe had someone that lived in the village before. They wanted to find out if there was any information about them. And that's always charming because a lot of times we get to help. Um, a real quick story, there was a gentleman that contacted us from England. He had just found out that his birth father was a GI. And this was a couple of years ago and he contacted us because he understood his birth father lived in Laguna Woods and there might've been something done. And we did have archives. We had done um, an interview with his birth father. Unfortunately, he had died before he was able to meet him, but we were able to send him a copy to have. Those are the really nice things about reaching out. Uh, once in a while, we'll have somebody bring in, which is great from they're cleaning out a, a manor. They found paperwork for a, a Broadway producer. Oh, manuscripts and just great things. Well, we don't really have any place for that because it doesn't follow our, our ideas here, but we have enough contacts that we found a university in Texas that had an old archive section on that particular producer. Oh, interesting. That is great. What a great network you have. Maybe the History Center should be on the tour, uh, you know, when, when new people move in. The History Center is exactly on the tour, and that's why oh, good. I'm the, the diorama. And being a docent myself, I'm very proud to bring people here. It is a chance for them to look at the diorama and see the community as a whole. Right. And it gives them an idea as before we get started too far on the bus and all the chatter starts. It gives them an opportunity to get a little background. And I also talk about the History Center and what we do for the community. And... Um, and it's important that people know we do things for them as well. I don't know if you can see right behind me. That's yes. the anniversary book. And that was done all by volunteers. Uh, the photos, everything written, it was a real hard fit. Over a year it took to produce that book. We still have a couple available at $50 each if anybody wants them. Okay. And um, we also store club here in our archive in the humidity and temperature controlled back room in the archives. And that's $50 a year. And that's great for clubs because a lot of times you'll find as I did as a past president, I ended up with four or five binders of information. Well, mm. this is a place where they can store that for that. So oh. we, do, we do things for the community as well. Um, they can check us out at our website, which is lagunawoodshistory.org uh, Laguna or send us any questions and communicate at the info at lagunawoodshistory.org. But not only did we do the 50th anniversary book, but we did um, the tree guides. Oh, yeah. That's all volunteer work. And we still have some of those available. We may have to go into a third printing before long. But since mm -hmm. budget is a big factor, the board will have to sit down. We have a board of trustees and um, they'll sit down and they'll look at the quality of what we're doing as relates to the community and our mission. So okay. that's a wonderful thing. We also have, um, we've had some wonderful speakers come into the community. Uh, Richard Dodd is a well-known Orange County architect and he came in there and spoke to, there was a lot of interest in people would come in and say, who, who designed these buildings? Mm -hmm. And so he gave us a great background on mid-century modern because that was his focus. Uh -huh. Then we had a great showing of Nellie Gale Moulton's um, artwork okay. and her niece, Jane Barnes, and that was very well received. We thought we'd have it here for two weeks. We had it for five. Oh, wow. And we had over 200 people show up the first night, which was wonderful. Wow, that's great. And so there's a lot of interest, not only just in Nellie Gale, who happened to live in a United Mutual Manor for a while where she did painting. Uh -huh. So she was a resident for a while. And we have a great connection with the Moulton family. 
and doing um, different things with them. And they also had a showing that night of videos and some artifacts from the ranch. And there's a lot of interest in the Milton family and what happened here. Yeah, well, that's great. I mean, the History Center is very active. You've got lots of things going on. And so everyone should take an opportunity to go visit you and see what you guys are all about. Well, I hope so. We're open Monday through Friday, just from 11 to 1, because we are pretty lightly staffed at this point okay. of volunteers. Okay. But one of the most important things people can do is go to our website. Um, and the website is incredible because it has a lot of information. It's getting better all the time because that is the future where people want to research. Yeah. So we're trying to make our website um, more open and available and researchable. And in doing that, we have to be very careful um, how much we spend in doing those types of things. So, right. and that goes back to the fact that we are a nonprofit. We don't get any money from any assessments in the village. Right. So everything is done by donor and they can donate through our website. There's a big donate button. They can push and use a credit card. Um, they come in in person and donate, they can mail a check to us at P.O. Box 2220 in Laguna Woods 92654. Or maybe they would consider that us in their will as an endowment. That would really help us. All right. That would help us. So, That's perfect. Well, thank you so much. It was really great to talk with you. It's good to talk to you. And I appreciate the effort you made to get a hold of me today. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Thank you again. You bet. And we will be right back after this.